Hope and welcome to JKKMobile.com. This time checking out wireless stuff and the wireless display stuff. And uh, IDF is a showcase of new tech and I think this is pretty cool new tech. Uh, we don't have a mobile aspect on this but we can only guess what's happening next. So what we have here is a laptop yes. Yeah. Yes. and uh, we're streaming everything on the laptop straight to the, to the screen uh, with a Netgear box right now. Uh, over Wi-Fi and over software. Correct. So, can you show it a bit? So we have a have a video playing now on the laptop. So sure. can you drag it over the, the? Yeah. So what we have right now is a, is the laptop set up in extended screen mode, where one screen is the standard laptop screen, and the other screen is being transmitted uh, as an MPEG stream to the uh, the Netgear box. So I can just grab this window and drag it up to my TV. Imagine that I'm sitting on my couch with the laptop, of course, and the TV's 10 feet away. And so we can watch the video full screen up here and uh, enjoy watching the video while we still have our, um, our laptop to surf the internet. For instance, I just have a window up here with Saturday Night Live on, the, uh, on, on Google. Cool. So what we need on a, on a laptop, we need a software, and that software is uh, only uh, distributed with the hardware box for the TV. No, right actually, now. it's distributed with the laptop itself. With the laptop, right. okay. So, so right so now we have uh, 40 SKUs, laptop SKUs, available from uh, 20 different PC OEMs. Okay. Yep. And, uh, and so there are many, many wireless display enabled laptops hitting the market right now. Okay. So. As of course I'm talking about the mobility aspect, we don't get that software right now to net to our iodium based netbooks. Right. But uh, it's a software so it might be hackable, so we <laughs> might test something later. But right now it's not shipping with Adam stuff. Correct. Right now it's not uh, on the talks on the on the Migo either. Windows only right now. And it needs to be Intel CPU and Intel Wi-Fi to make it work. And Intel graphics. And Intel graphics. So we were just talking about uh, I'm I'm planning of getting the, the EPC 1015N or PN with the Optimus uh, NVIDIA Optimus. So we can we could do that but not through the NVIDIA stuff. So. Correct. We support switchable graphics so that when you go into wide wireless display mode, yeah. you can actually uh, switch back to the Intel graphics and okay. get wireless display on that. And right now uh, they can stream uh, or, or output uh, 720p, which at least for me is, is good enough, and it scales up on, on a bigger screen too. Uh, anything else we should really know about uh, on a mobility aspect yes. of, of this? I would love to see it happen, but it needs some power for the computer too. Yes. It needs uh, good Wi-Fi, so because if you're streaming something from the internet and to the uh, TV uh, with Wi-Fi, you need power. You need because uh, right, you're stream. actually doing two streams at that yeah, point, right? Yeah. Right. So that's the reason that you're only shipping yeah. it right now with a, uh, with some new laptops. Correct. Uh, so we forgot to mention the demonstration that we showed today on the tablet in the yeah. keynote speech. Yeah, that's the point. Uh, we saw a uh, Adam based tablet yeah. streaming and doing this same thing. So uh, there has to be some announcement later, maybe here, maybe somewhere else. Uh, but uh, we need right. to have this on mobile. Yeah, mobile. we just wanted to show that wireless display you know, can be uh, up and down all the platform yeah. families. And maybe in the future we'll be doing an announcement yeah. about it. That's cool. So. Yeah. On my way to hack this on my netbook, and uh, <laughs> we see what happens then. So this is JKK, JKKMobile.com. More IDF 2010 stuff coming soon. Great, thank you, thank bye. You.